In this lesson, we'll look at another way we can automate animation, this time through wired parameters. Wired parameters allow us to set up direct links between different parameter values. So let's go ahead and learn how we can use wired parameters to have the rotation Z of our outer plate control the movement of the mid plate and inner. With our outer plate selected, we can go to the animation menu and choose wire parameters. Or we could use the hotkey. Or another way is to simply select the object, right click, and choose wire parameters from the quad menu. Now we'll have to navigate to our parent parameter, which in this case it's the rotation Z. Then we'll choose the object to map to. That's going to be our warp shell mid. Transform rotation X. Here's the wire parameter dialog. Looking at the center, we see the arrows that basically tell Max which way we'd like to make our connection. Looking at the top selection, with the dual arrows. Watch what this is going to do. This is actually going to set up a crosslink between both. So if we choose connect, notice we can rotate our mid plate by the outer plate, but also notice this, we can control the outer plate by the mid plate. This would be a very fun animation and rigging tool. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is go back and disconnect that so we can choose the right connection which in this case is going to be our last choice. And then I'll go ahead and choose connect. And now notice we have a direct link. But let's say if we wanted to slow up the speed of the mid plate, we can basically multiply it by 0.5 so that it will only move 50%. So I'll go down to the expression and add in that 50% times 0.5. When we update this, notice now that midplane is only going to move 50% based off of the outer. All right, so we'll do a similar thing to our inner plate, selecting the outer first. We'll go to Wire Parameters, Transform, Rotation Z, and then choose the inner plate, Transform, Rotation X. And again, we choose the bottom arrow. This time, let's have it move about 20%. Okay, so that's times 0 0.2, connect, close this out, hit play. Great. Now let's say if we ever wanted to get back to those parameters, we could actually, under the animation menu, wire parameters, use the parameter wire dialog. And then we can search for whatever has been linked. Great, so that's a look at wired parameters, and again, this is a very nice rigging tool as well. But we saw how we could also use it in animation. 